Good evening. Good evening, everybody. Can you hear me? Good evening, teacher. Yes. Hi, good evening. How are you? How are you? I'm fine, I'm fine, teacher. This okay. day was was easy, was nice. Oh, good. All, all, all good. All fine. Excellent. I'm glad to hear that. Very good. Okay. Um hello, Sigfrido. Hello, teacher. How are you? Good. How are you? Uh, tired. <laughs> it was a long day. Yeah, I can hear it in your voice. It was I am was was it a, a bad day or just a long day? Uh, just a long day. Uh, uh, there is a lot of things that accumulate on weekends, so a, a lot of things to resolve, some issues, some problems that we need to resolve today. Uh, it's a really long day in terms of busy day, complicated day, and a lot of things to do. Mm, okay. I see. Mondays are sometimes one of those days, right? Either Friday or Monday, they they're always one of those days that you have to, you know, yeah. run around <laughs> doing things. Yeah. Well, the good thing is that it's over. Monday's over, and you know we can get on with Tuesday, <laughs> which will hopefully be better for you. Yeah. All right. Um. Let me see. All right, uh, we have um, Edwin and Irma and Rafael and Carlos and Emerson. How are you guys? Hello, good evening. Hello, good evening, Carlos. How are you? Um, so far, so good. What's up? difficult day all Mondays are the same mm. but we are here now good good okay I'm glad that you're here now <laughs> that's it thank, that's, thank that's a good you. thing yeah so how was your weekend tell me about your weekend guys and girls although in this class we almost almost everybody in this class are guys this is so interesting. I have another class that it's just almost all girls. And this one's almost all guys. <laughs> That's so interesting. So tell me, how was your weekend? Uh, hi, teacher. In my case, uh, uh, in the morning, uh, I remember I told you uh, I, uh, I, I went to my children's uh, English Academy. Uh -huh. in the morning uh, and and then uh, we went to to a restaurant for lunch hmm. uh, in the afternoon in the afternoon uh, we went to uh, I don't know how do you say cancha de fútbol cancha de fútbol sí that would know, how do you that would be a soccer field. Okay, soccer field. Uh, we played uh, a little time. Mm -hmm. uh, and then the next, and then and when finally uh, come back uh, around 6 p.m. Uh, I think all day we, we were out the house. Mm. But wow. was uh, but was uh, a nice days in oh, my family. Good, I'm glad to hear that. Yes. That's great. Yes. Excellent. Okay. Did anybody have anything eventful happening this weekend? Something interesting? No. 
Not at all? No? Nothing nothing interesting this on the this weekend. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Well, hopefully you at least you had a a relaxing weekend, I hope. Right? A weekend where you could just uh relax and um forget about your routine i hope so okay well guys and girls uh better said just girl because i think i only have one girl oh my goodness hello mirna welcome hello teacher how are you <laughs> good good you you are the only one that's backing me up in uh in in my team <laughs> <We're> only girls <laughs> yeah just one <laughs> only one girl my goodness yeah. wow yeah the it's bigger a... is the power no yeah <laughs> <laughs> of course okay yeah. so we are gonna take attendance um okay so remember i need you to open up your microphone and say present and i also need your camera on even if we are um are not able to participate and we are just um, like, like listeners, we need to still turn on the camera so that Insafarp knows that you are here. So, um, Ana Lorena Lovato. Ana Lorena Lovato. Not here, okay. Carlos Alberto Dominguez. Okay. So if you want, we can turn off the microphones until it's time for you to stay present. Okay, let's turn off the microphones. Um, so Carlos Alberto Dominguez. Okay, uh, Carlos Ernesto Hernandez. Present teacher. Okay, wonderful, thank you. Uh, Carlos Mauricio Menjivar. Present. Excellent. Thank you very much. Edwin Antonio Quinteros. Present, teacher. Wonderful. Thank you. Um, Emerson Ulises Monroy. Present, miss. Wonderful. Thank you very much. Uh, Ileana Rebecca Carpio. Ileana Rebecca Carpio. No? Okay. Jorge Antonio Sanchez. Present yes. teacher. Perfect. Bye. Thank you. Jose Alberto Lopez Montes. Jose Bernard. No, perdón. Jose. Yeah. Jose Bernardo Lopez Montes. Okay. Jose Carlos Argueta Romero. Jose Carlos Argueta Romero. Okay. Um, Jose Salvador Bernal Quintanilla. Present teacher. Wonderful. Thank you very much. Josman Atilio Serrano. Josman Atilio Serrano. Present teacher. Okay, wonderful. Thank you. Juan Carlos Herrera Delgado. Present yes. Excellent. Thank you. Kevin Alfredo Lucero Menéndez. Present. Excellent. Thank you. Mauricio Antonio Velázquez. Present teacher. Excellent. Thank you. Mayra Cecilia Peña de Aparicio. Present. Excellent. Uh, Mayra, do you, um, can you turn on your camera for the attendance? Mayra? Mayra Cecilia, puede encender su cámara para la asistencia. Para que quede evidencia allí que usted estuvo en la clase. 
okay now. Okay, thank you. Ok, perfecto, muchas gracias. En el señor Alberto Peraza, me, me Presente, guía. Chair. Wonderful, thank you very much. Osman Enrique Hernández. Presente, Chair. Thank you very much. Rafael Alexander Serna. Rafael Alexander Serna Díaz. No sé, Rafael. Ok. Um, Ricardo Ernesto Pérez. Pérez Acosta. Ricardo Ernesto oh, Pérez. I'm pre Mr. I'm sorry, but uh, present. present. <laughs> okay. okay. Sorry. Uh, can we turn on the camera uh, for the attendance? Um, I'm a little busy, actually. Uh, I can. Sorry. <laughs> okay. Uh, es parte del, de la sindicación de Instafor que necesita por lo menos el, eh, encender la cámara para la asistencia. Ok. Entonces, um, maybe on the next uh, assistance, uh, how to say it? Later, okay. teacher, sorry. Ok, ok. <laughs> bueno. Um, sí, es que tenemos que, que documentar todo, todo que he reportado y, y de hecho cuando Insafor eh, hace um, auditoría y ve y ve los videos, um, entonces toma, toma cuenta de la asistencia. Por eso les pido que, que se puedan colaborar con eso. Porque, o sea, es uno me cubro las espaldas yo. Y dos, ustedes también, ¿verdad? Porque um, eh, así ustedes pueden decir, sí, yo estuve en la casa, ahí está el video que muestra que yo estaba. Ok. Um, Sandra Abigail Bonilla. Present. Ok. Eh, Sandra, ¿podría encender camarita? Uh, no, ahí está, perfecto, gracias, a, muchas gracias. Y me hace un favor, también necesito que cambie su nombre en la plataforma, porque ahorita solo aparece como Abigail Ponilla. Se necesita que se lo ponga su nombre completo tal como aparece en el DUI. ¿Ya sabe cómo cambiar eso, eh, Abigail? Perfecto, muchas gracias. Ok. Eh, Sigfrido Ernesto Gómez. Gracias. Perfecto, thank you very much. Wendy Maricela Ramírez Guevara. Wendy Maricela Ramírez Guevara. Not here. Ok. Eh, Mirna Elizabeth Alvarenga Rivas. Present. Wonderful. Irma Evelyn Rodríguez Torres. Present teacher. Wonderful. Thank you. Y Amanda Leonela Zamora Miranda. Herman, It's not Herman. here right now, but, but she wrote a WhatsApp group. Mm, okay. I'll check it out. Thank you. Thank you for letting me know. Okay. Perfect, guys. Uh, uh, sorry, Miss, I didn't listen my name. Oh, um, okay. uh, at the moment I am driving to my home. Uh, oh. I'm going okay. To, uh, uh, right to my home in the next 15 minutes. Okay. Uh, Jose Carlos, um, okay, yeah, I see that you're you're in your car. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank yeah, you. Yeah, sure. Thank you very much. Okay, wonderful. See you. Okay. All right, very good. Um, so um, we are going to start with our class. Teacher, excuse me. Yes. I have a trouble with my internet. Did you? Say my name. 
Uh, I probably Ay, mire, did. Torres. Okay. Um, I probably did. Yeah. I just no. maybe you were not here when when I mentioned. Um. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Okay. All right. We're gonna start with our class. We're actually gonna finish off. Uh, our topic, our unit one, um, we're going to finish off that today. So I want you to tell me, can you see this? Yes, yes, sir. yes I can see. Yes. Wonderful. Okay. See. Wonderful. So this is an, a, an ad, a job ad uh, for a junior manager um, position. And I need a volunteer to help me read this uh, ad. Can you do that, please? Well, volunteer? OK, thank you, Osman. Uh, so I'm going to, mm -hmm. OK. Junior manager wanted. We require a responsibility person who will be giving Give, giving the duty to assistant senior managers working to for, further develop the company. A professional no, knowledge, I, I don't know. Who knowledgeable. Knowledgeable. Not knowledgeable. Not knowledgeable. No, knowledgeable. In, administration. in administration is desired to be in charge of outlining all, all all Outlining, yes. Outlining the that is for each team member in our sales department, seniors seniors manager meet frequently with our juniors manager, who has to present reports and other documents to discuss evaluation and employee performance. Therefore, yeah. Let me see. Therefore, will uh, Therefore, will personal relationships are a must for more information, Carl. Thank you. Thank you very much, Osman. Excellent job. Very, very Thank good. You. Okay. All right. So how about if you write in the chat any words that you don't understand the pronunciation? Okay, let's, you can write in the chat words that you don't understand the pronunciation. Tisha, could you repeat the knowledgeable? This is the correct knowledgeable. If you want knowledge. Right, write the word in the chat and then okay. I'm going to um, Okay, yeah, I think somebody already wrote it. So I'm just, I'm gonna circle all the words that you want me to help you with, and then we'll talk about them. Okay. Experto in Spanish. Um, not exactly experto, but it's just um, somebody that knows a lot. It could be, it could be. Definitely somebody that's a, an, a, an expert is knowledgeable, that's for sure. We'll, we'll, we'll talk about that in a moment. But um, right now, just write words that you don't know the meaning. Sorry, 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 my mistake. That you don't know the pronunciation. Let's just right now talk about pronunciation. a moment. Let's see this one. Further, further. Ah, yes. Got it. Any other words?
No? Is that it? Okay. All right. So the uh, actually, I'm going to add a few words myself. Okay. Um, Okay. Um, okay, so the first word I'm going to um, get you guys to pronounce with me is duty. Duty. Can you repeat? Duty. 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 Yeah. Then it's this one is further. Can you repeat, teacher? Further. 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 Next is knowledgeable. 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 Yeah, knowledgeable. 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 Mm hmm Okay. Outlining. 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 Yes. Yes. Very good. Duties. 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 Okay. Good. All right. So that's the vocabulary, sorry, that's the pronunciation. Now, how about vocabulary? What questions do you have about the vocabulary? Words that you don't understand the meaning. You can also write them in the chat. Words that you don't understand the meaning. Really? You don't you you, you understand all of them? Oh, okay. Anything else? Actually, I'm talking about this. Anything else? Okay. Oh, okay. Okay. Anything else? Okay. All right. So the first, the first word is duty and duty means responsibilities activities that you are that you have the responsibility of doing those are your duties okay so if you have an activity that is assigned that you have to do that's a duty and while we're at it duties is just plural okay so duty is one duties is plural okay 
Got it. All right. My obligation, something like that. Yeah, like responsibilities that you have. Okay. okay. Yeah. So like activities that are your responsibilities. Okay. Further, it comes from the word far. Okay. So far, you, you understand the word far, right? Yes. Um, yes. Okay. So it's actually a comparative of far. Okay. Um, so the comparative of far is farther, but it can also be it can also be further. And the difference between farther and further is that farther is talking about distance. Okay. So um like, for example, my house is farther from, it's it's further from the school than yours. So we're talking about the distance, like talking about meters, kilometers, um, miles, et cetera, et cetera. That's, that's farther. And further means to go more far, but not in distance talking about any other way, like figuratively speaking, but not distance, okay? Like, uh, to give you an example, um, I want to go further in my studies. I want to go further in my studies. So that means I want to study more. I want to go a far in my studies, but not in distance, obviously. In distance, you can't go, you can't go far in distance when you're studying. We're talking about figuratively speaking. Does that make we sense? We can measure it. We can't well, we can measure it, but not in miss not in distance. Like I can go further oh, in my studies, that. like maybe I can. Uh, maybe I have a PH, uh, sorry, maybe I have a bachelor's degree and now I want to have a PhD. That's that's measurable, but it's not in distance. Okay. Or for example, oh, in, a in a relationship, let's say you are, you have a romantic relationship. Um, if uh, you are boyfriend and girlfriend, if you go further in your relationship, you become maybe uh, engaged or married. Yeah, so married. It's, yeah, it's it's you're going more far, but not in distance. Okay. Okay. Yes. All right. And the final one is therefore. Therefore means it's like it's a connector. Let's say it's a type of connector. It's actually called a transition, but it's a connector. And um, what it means is like, it, it's almost like saying, um, because of this reason, it's like saying, yeah, because of this reason, okay? Or consequently, you can also say consequently, or for this reason, yeah, for this reason, et cetera, et cetera. You get the idea, right? Okay, so it's another way of saying for this reason, consequently, because of this reason. All right? Yes. Any questions? Got it. Thank you. You're welcome. Any other questions that you guys have? For the moment... No, teacher. For the moment, no. no. Thank you. Okay. You can ask anything. Anything that comes to your mind. I I remember one word. Mm -hmm. I was watching some something in the TV okay. in English. Okay. I'm trying to improve my my listening, but uh, I'm not sure this is is one word or is two words. In indeed, indeed, something like that. Indeed. Mm -hmm. Oh yes. Yes. Well, I don't know what is the meaning or is one word, two words. I, I'm not sure. Um, indeed. 
Interesting. You? Indeed. One word, um, okay. Yeah, it's one word. Um, indeed. It can mean different things, but usually it means something like, um, it's like an agreement. Like when you say, um, I don't know, um, it's hot today. You can say, indeed, it's like saying for sure you agree with it. Ah, uh, something. Ah, oh, yeah, something like. I agree. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. Uh -huh. It's something like I agree. Um, yeah. So yeah, it's it's usually used to to express agreement. Okay. Okay, that had more uh, sense for me because uh, I was thinking I was watching something in the TV in a court. Mm -hmm. So the lawyer talking something, and the other guy just said, "Indeed." So that is more meaning for me. Thank you. Right. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Okay. Anything else? Any other questions that you have? Okay. All right. It's okay. okay. It's okay. All right. Wonderful. Okay. So do you see this is a, an additive for a junior management manager position? Okay. This is an ad. What I want you to do is I want you to think about one of the departments in your workplace. There, I'm sure you have many departments in your workplace, but I want you to choose one of these departments. One of them. Okay. And I want you to create a job advertisement or a job or a, yeah, job ad similar to this for a junior manager position in that department. Does that make sense? Yes, yes. Okay, so you're going to do something similar to this. Use this as a reference. Okay, so think about, you can think about uh, what the person has to do, like what's, what are the duties that they have, okay? What knowledge they are expected to have, okay? What skills they are expected to have, okay, and so on. You can ask about vocabulary. If you have any questions on how to say something, I'm glad to help.
Okay. How you doing? Are we ready? Do you need more time? Mm, I'm ready. You're ready, Carlos? Okay. Yes. What about the others? Are you ready? Anybody need more time? Yes, teacher, yes, teacher. You, you need more time. Okay, no problem. I can give it. Two minutes, please. Okay, no problem. Take your time. Okay, about one more minute. Okay. All right, guys. So what we're going to do right now, I'm going to stop sharing. And instead, I'm going to send you guys to breakout rooms so that you can share your, um, your description with the group. Um, I'm going to put you guys into small groups so you can share. Okay. Um, okay, so here we go. Remember, you are sharing what you wrote, okay? So um, just read it and then if you're, um, 
if your partner has any problems when you are listening to it, you can share them. You can tell them, oh, you don't say it like this. You say it like that. Okay. All right. So I'm opening the rooms right now. What is the activity? Sorry, but I don't listen because in here in Santa Ana, it's raining a lot and the sound is a little bit. Okay. Um, I I call in the um, the my 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 job in the new system and uh, okay. Guys, um, are we are we sharing your sentences? Sorry, teacher, but I say a husband is uh, here in Santa Ana is raining a lot, and I don't listen. What is the indication? What is the activity? We were writing about um, an advertisement for a junior manager in your workplace. And now you were just sharing what uh, the advertisement is. Hosman, did you write the advertisement? Hosman? Hosman, did you write the advertisement? Hello, Husman. Can you hear me? Husman, me escucha? Husman? Yes, the problem the computer. You have having problems with the computer. Hello? Hi, you're having problems with the computer? The connection. With the connection. Okay, can, can you share with Jorge what you wrote? Okay, Josman, share with Jorge and Rafael what you wrote. Osman, can you hear me? Osman? 
first one first one is coach Hmm. Okay. In the in the meantime, Jorge, you can <laughs> write. Me. You can write. You can. Hello, husband. Can you hear me? Hello. Hello. Please. Hi. Can you hear me? Okay. Yeah, teacher. I'm sorry, I have a problem in the connection. In the okay. internet. I'm replace I'm replace the computer and I don't know the I I don't know okay. my microphone. It's okay. Did you write it's a problem my computer? Did you write something, Hosman, for the ad? Yeah. Escribió algo para el la posición. Osman, ¿escribió usted algo, sí o no? Ok, Jorge, mientras tanto, ¿puede usted escribir algo? Como de el job advertisement for a job, for a junior manager in your job. The, for different qualities or duties that yeah. a person, okay. Okay, yeah, thanks. Exactly. Okay. Okay. I'm going to go visit the other groups. With, who will be given will be, uh -huh. duty be given. the assistant? Uh -huh. Senior managers working to further develop the company. Okay. In, in your case, Yes. In my case, how did you create uh, the sentences? For example, uh, teacher. Hello. Hi. Uh, uh, lo que entendimos, I, I understand. We understand is uh, create similar the example, only integrate and in, integrate uh, adjective clauses mm -hmm. in, in our job. Right. Correct. For example, I write down the company required to software engineer specific in the computer area, mm -hmm. who being phantom programming that he can resolve the problem, da, 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 da. Mm -hmm. It's okay. Yeah, exactly. Yes, that okay. is correct. Okay. okay. All right, I'm gonna go see the other groups, okay? Okay, and uh, now you finish. <laughs> uh, I understand, do you understand what you say? Uh, uh, assume the law in El Salvador saying so if we identify that somebody isn't working as El Salvador law said we apply the the taxes and, and we determine some of the I forgot the words multas and, and we fee, make that fee 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 multa okay. fee fee Okay, and so we what we are looking for is creating money, right? But with discipline, uh, we are constantly, and we are we have constantly preparing to my team. That that's one thing that I identify my team, and another thing is that we work together. Yeah, we focus on one thing, and all the team is focused on that, and also. Uh, 
what else? What how I can define my job position? Because I, I am not a hungry manager. I, I relax all the weekend we used to go out. We we have our relationship, we are friends, however, <laughs> we are workers. And so we know when we are workers and when we are friends. Yeah, but and... you have to when you when the company is uh, licitar how to use tender. I think that is the work when the company um licitan. Yeah, I I understand you no. that the company um, request tender, yeah. request. Sorry, thank you, Tisha. Request that the, you you analyze the the company. Yes, you analyze that the company have to pay the the tax in order. Or or not? No, in my case, I am the person who who determine the tax for all the companies oh. in my jurisdiction. So I am the uh. manager of that department. I am as a little hacienda. Yeah. Hacienda. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um. So multa is fine. Fine. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay. Thank you, Miss. You're welcome. Fee? How do you say penalty fee or fee? Is not multa? No, fee is um is like a una cu it could be like una cuota or un no la palabra um no because I saw that you have to fee if you parking in a wheelchair for example fee fee say multa no. No, a fee is what you pay. Like, for example, you can you pay a fee to get in to something. Like, let's say, um, like, Parque Infantil. You have to pay mm -hmm. a fee to get into Parque Infantil. So that's mm -hmm. like, it's the amount that you pay. You say it's a cover. Yeah. It's a cover. Uh -huh. Yeah, but cover is, is what you, it, that is like a fee, but at a restaurant or a bar or a nightclub. That's a that's a that that would be a a cover. Ah, oh, we use just cover okay. in the nightclub for bars. So, but fee you use um in a park or uh, yeah, it's it's like entrada, a, interest is, Yeah, it's like the money. It's like the ticket that you pay to get in. Uh, okay. Okay. Uh, okay. The teacher <laughs> in the multi it the same. Penalty fee. Uh, sorry, could you repeat that? Penal penalty fee. Yeah. Yeah, yeah you could say you could you could say penalty fee, yes. But it has to go together yeah. with penalty, not just fee. It has to be oh, not just fee. Okay. Yeah. okay. You could say a penalty fee, yeah. Penalty okay. fee or fine. Yeah. This is both. If but it's more it's common to say fine? Fine? A fine. Or, okay. Yes. Yeah, um, penalty fee. It's like okay. Mm, I think if when I'm you're driving in, yeah, in that, the yeah, highway then you're you're fine. So penalty yeah. fee. Okay, so this is. I think if I'm not mistaken, this is how it works. Mm -hmm. A penalty fee is when you know, like, when you. What should I say? It, it's when you are you know what the, the the rules are and even though you know what the rules are you break them and so they say okay you have a panel a penalty because you agreed to this you agreed to it and you didn't comply with it then you have a penalty fee yeah for example the okay. the speed or the the the, the limit of velocity and the for example, no, 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 no. So that's what I'm going to tell you. So a penalty fee is when you agree to something. There is like an agreement and you agree to it. Um, and then you don't comply with it. Then you have a penalty fee. To give you an example. Um, ¿Qué podría ser? In okay, taxes. There is something that you know that you have to do it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, yeah, exactly. Or some company doesn't. Yeah, 
yeah, yeah, exactly. So you agree to it and, and you don't comply with it, then you have to pay a penalty fee um, because you didn't, you didn't comply with what you agreed to do. But a fine is usually uh, more like in the legal system. Okay, so um, something mostly have to do with the government. Okay. That would be a fine. Yeah. Okay, so you have you yeah. pay. Mm -hmm. uh, when when I when I, you don't declare your income and you are a penalized. Cuando uno no declara en hacienda, aplica el penal fee. Um, yeah, maybe the taxes when you have to pay for taxes. Yeah, I'm trying to figure out if that would be a penalty fee or a fine. Mm. Fine, because the hacienda is for government, mm -hmm. maybe. Yeah, yeah, I think that'd yeah. be like a fine. Yeah, it's, yeah. Mm -hmm. Although usually a fine is normally related to like um to like on the streets like when you it, when you don't comply with some when you break the law basically on the streets but yeah i guess but this yeah. okay say fine fine is more common to okay, say yeah so fine. this is this is pretty much what it is it's it's breaking the law a, a fine is breaking a law okay yeah. okay thank you yeah. thank you that, yeah that that's that yeah, i think that makes more sense so a fi a fine is anything that you break the law whereas mm -hmm. penalty fee is you're not breaking the law because there's nothing you know in the law mm -hmm. that says it, but you just agree to it, then you have a penalty yeah. fee. It's just technicalities. Yeah. But yeah, that, that's pretty much the idea. Okay, well guys, I'm gonna bring you back to the main room, okay? Okay. okay thank you. All right. Thank you. See you soon. Thank you. All right. Would anybody like to share? Would you like to share your uh, description? Sorry, I, I couldn't hear you, teacher. What would, What did you say? Would you like to share your description with the class? Yes, for sure. Okay, great. Um. Ah, uh, okay. Um, I don't know if I to share it. If I have to share it in the chat group. No, no, no. Just, just share. It. Yeah, just read it with us. I read it. Okay. Mm -hmm. And the job position is WFN coordinator. WFN what? is workforce management. Okay, that that's is. what I was going to ask you. <laughs> okay. Uh -huh. And something that they have to do is possess the ability to analyze data, create requirements for new accounts, who has meeting with analysts to obtain results from their accounts on a week, weekly and monthly deliveries. Uh, 
he should be have ability to influence the team to obtain further than good results, make weekly and monthly deliveries to WFM manager and others duties. Okay. Just I try to use some words that I didn't know just from today. Yeah, that, that's good. That's good. Excellent. Bravo. Very, very good. Thank you. Okay. All right. Anybody else want to share? Me, did you? Okay. Go for it, Jorge. Well, um, the many skills or the different qualities the uh, in my company, a uh, junior manager uh, is necessary. Mm, he, necess mm, he needed, uh, for example, uh, must have experience in the new product development, knowledge of personal administration, operating system management, because um, some days uh, need to uh, present the different reports of the manager, uh, knowledge of the time and motion analysis, uh, teamwork development, and having a good personal relationship uh, is essential. You don't okay. need a, 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 a angry man. Yes. No, hopefully there are no angry people in the management. <laughs> okay. For sure. Yeah. yeah, we don't want any angry people in management. Unfortunately, that does happen, though. <laughs> okay. Um, all right. Anybody else want to share? Oh, thank you very much for the excellent job. Very good. Anybody else want to share? Me, teacher. Okay, go for it, Carlos. Okay. The, the company required to software engineer, specifically in the computer area, who be in phantom programming, that he can resolve the problem currently in the uh, currently a current system, a who person that be responsible that to have very nice logical for the sources calls, if the purpose, the system be friendly. Can you repeat the last part? The last part, mm -hmm. with, uh, with the purpose, the system be friendly? With the purpose? Uh -huh. With the purpose, the system be friendly. With the purpose, the system be friendly. I'm not quite sure of the idea there. Um, okay. I, I think it's improve the, the system operation that they use to make it friendly, something like that. I'm not sure. Can you try to explain it in a different way? Carlos, Carlos and Explain the last, the last part. Yeah, the the idea. Uh, okay, um, the system being complicated is uh, uh, being more <clears throat> easier for the users. Oh. Okay, we say that friend, uh, friend, um, user friendly. Yeah, friendly. User yeah. friendly. That's, user friendly. That's uh -huh. the, the the the. That's the adjective that we use. User friendly. Okay. I'll write user, in the chat. Oh. oh, okay. Okay, I wrote in the chat. Friendly. Ah, okay, okay. Thank you. Okay. All right, thank you, bravo, good job. Okay, all right, uh, we are going to move on to the next part, guys, because although I wish I could hear all of yours, um, you know, we 
we are going to have to move forward because of time. So that is the end of um, section one. We are now going to start with section two. And for this, I'd like us to discuss this question. Can you see my screen? Yes, I can. Yeah? OK, good. So we have two questions here. First question, do you think conflict is a normal part of any social in an organizational setting? And what happens if conflict is left unresolved at work? So let's talk about the first part. Do you think it's that conflict is a normal part of social and organization setting? Do you think so? What do you think about this? Mm. I believe, I believe that is maybe normal, but the person, uh, there are different personali personalities mm -hmm. and ways, the things, two things, difference. Ways of thinking. Way of thinking, okay. Way, way of ways thinking. of thinking. Ways, ways of thinking. Yes. Okay. okay. Mm -hmm. uh, for the reason. Okay. So you think it's normal because there are different ways of thinking. Okay. Yeah. All right. What about the rest of you? What do you think? You think it's normal? Um, I, I agree with Carlos. I, I think it's something normal in, in all parts in the company because mm -hmm. like we said in Spanish uh, each head is a word so it's a little bit difficult to be agree in the whole uh, topics or goals in the company so maybe the conflict is necessary to improve some goals or something that ways to make to make it or to try to make it. I, I think that is the reason to be uh, a normal part in, in the social organization. Um, okay, all right. Very good. Um, sorry, Osman. I'm sorry, I interrupt you, I interrupt you, sorry. No worry. <laughs> Husband, you wanted to say okay. something? Uh, I think uh, for me uh, is some normally uh, in, in the company because I think it's impossible uh, someone knows all. Uh, it's important in a company uh, to have people uh, with different uh, thinking or the people thinking different way, mm -hmm. uh, but I I think it's important the company create a culture of respect because mm -hmm. we we need to listen all opinion. Right, right. Yes, absolutely. Okay. Yeah, absolutely. So. Um, it's important that everybody gets heard, right? Yes, mm -hmm. yes. Yeah. What happens if conflict is left unresolved at work? So imagine that we just we just ignore it. We ignore that there's a problem and we don't solve the problem. What happens? The problem, they get bigger. Problem gets bigger. Mm -hmm. The conflict, when the conflict is uh, not resolved, it get a war. When the conflict is resolved, what happens? The problem grow up in the time. Okay. Okay, so the problem gets gets bigger with time. Do you say? Uh, grow up. Uh, grows, grows. grows. Yeah, okay. a grow up is only 
grow up means to like people. And people. <laughs> yeah, it's used for people and it means to like mature. Okay. Yeah. Okay. 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 All right. Anything else? Also, that also the also the problem will be bigger. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yes. It's not resolvable. It's get the word. It gets what? what environment? Se agrava. Se agrava. Oh, okay. 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 Very good. What? Bad environment of work. Yes. We have a bad envir uh, work environment. Work environment. Yes. A bad work environment. Okay, good. Anything else that happens? I think uh, if we have conflicts in the work and yeah. if we can resolve it, uh, that conflict accompany us to the house and make you make us angry people in the house. Oh, like, interesting. So, so work affects your personal life. Yes, could be. Is the the conflict is a bigger, mm -hmm. is bigger problem. So he okay. is with you all the time, yeah. either in the house. Yeah. Okay. All right. Anything Richard, else? Uh -huh. Yeah. Richard, I think uh, if, if the problem never resolved, yeah, and the environment uh, always is is bad, and and the manager never uh, hear hear hears his uh, employees, uh, all 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 things uh, translate translate uh, into losses losses for the company losses losses for the company losses. okay why why do you say that because uh, for for example uh, is the environment uh, is bad uh, maybe the employees don't do the the, the better yes uh, don't don't care the company don't care the uh, uh, the recursos resources the resources the resources the resources Res the... resources, resources. Mm -hmm. yes for this reason okay all right okay very good very very good okay now speaking about conflict we are going to talk about Richard. Richard has a tough job because he's actually the CEO of a company. Do you guys understand what a CEO? I think he's the most important in that company. Yes, yes. Yeah, you're right. But do you know what it is? Yeah, let's say it's like um, the... mm -hmm. no, no, I don't know. No, tell me, tell me. What were you? What were you gonna say? The director. You say the meaning is chief. Uh -huh. she, she's trying she's, to say the meaning. She's CEO. Executive director is chief executive officer. Yes. The, the meaning that that word, but right. this is the the head of the company. I think so. Is exactly yeah. creator. Very good. So CEO stands for chief, chief, executive, officer, right? And it's pretty much the president of the company, right? So it's the person that, yes, like you said, directs the company. They are the ones that call that call all the big uh, decisions of the company. Okay, so Richard is the CEO of a company. Okay, and CEO does, is not the same thing as the owner. It can be, but not necessarily. Like we can have the owner of a company, and the owner of a company appoints a CEO. So he appoints the person to direct the company, to be the president of the company, to be the head of the company. 
So let's read about Richard. Uh, I need a volunteer to read for me the first paragraph, another volunteer to read the second, and the last, and another volunteer to last to read the last one. So maybe you guys can turn us, uh, can you raise your hand if you want to read? Okay. So Maida, you can read the first one. Carlos Mauricio, the second one, and Jorge Antonio, the third. Okay, so let's start, uh, Mayra. Okay, Richard is the CEO at Isors, and he, want, he wants his sales and financial manager, Sally and Hugo, to work together. Okay, so this is the situation. Thank you very much, Mayra. Okay, so um, he has... Uh, the sales and the financial managers. They are Sally and Hugo, and Hugo. And Richard wants these two people to work together. Sounds simple, right? Okay, let's read the second. Um, Richard knows that they don't communicate effectively, effectively and that their leadership values are very different but he knows he needs to do something to improve the teamwork. Okay, thank you very much, Carlos Mauricio. Excellent. So even though he knows that he wants them to work together, he's also aware that they have problems. What, what's their problem? What's the problem of these two people? In communication is not good between them. Exactly. Their communication is not good, right? Um, what else? What else is another problem for them? Their leader values are very different, say the paragraph. Yes. So they have different leadership values, right? Okay. So yes, he knows these two people are very different. They don't communicate well, at least together, they don't communicate well effectively. And they have different leadership values. But what is his goal? What is Richard's goal? Improve the teamwork. Yes, exactly, improve the teamwork. All right, let's find out what he does then. Uh, can you who was going to read the last one? I forgot. Me, teacher. Okay, go for it, Jorge. Richard invited both to his office and their mutual resentment was apparent. Okay. So now he's making a a, a, a meeting for all three of them to get together. And what's what happened at the meeting? Were they all happy and they hugged each other? What happened? It was mutual, um, the resentment they have. Yes. Okay. Sally so, and Hugo. Yeah. So they showed, both of them showed that they had resentment, not just one of them, because it says mutual. So it means the two of them showed that they had resentment. You understand resentment? I, I think it's something like in Spanish, exactly. Mm -hmm. Exactly, yeah, yeah. So it's like, it's when you, when somebody did something to you and you do not forgive them. You still, you still um, uh, feel bad about what they did, okay? And you don't feel comfortable with that person, okay? All right, so this is the this is the problem. So let's find out what actually happened at the meeting. Okay, we have here a conversation and I'm actually going to 
Well, I'm going to need a Hugo, a Sally, and a Richard to read this conversation. Okay, so um, Mirna. Yes, you sure. You you, yes. you want to be? Yes. Okay. All right. Wonderful. So Mirna, you do you want to be Sally? I guess. Yes. No? Okay. <laughs> All right. Great. All right. Who wants to be Hugo? Okay. I want to be Hugo. Maida. Okay, wonderful. Maida, you can be Hugo. Who wants to be Richard? Jorge, you want to be Richard? Okay. Yes, teacher. Perfect. Let's let's start. Let's start this this um, interesting conversation. Richard, I understand you would like us to work together, but it's impossible. Please pair me up with another of the manager. I can stand how she allows her subordinates to do whatever they want. Why are you always attacking me in meetings? What are you talking about? I don't do that. You, you just did it. Richard? It was her, Jorge, I think, was a Richard, right? Sorry. Okay. Hugo, would you please tell me what you and me about Sally? Well, she, I have to admit that, the, that, that her reports are extremely accurate and that her cell department handles work without delay. And Sally, what do you appreciate about Hugo? He did a great job increasing sales by uh, 50% this month with his business approach. I know you I know you two have different personalities. If you both had no contributed to our projects, we wouldn't have had such growth last year. From now on, remember what you just said about each other to help the company continue to grow. All right, thank you. Thank you for Hugo, Sally, and Richard. Great job, guys, excellent. Okay, all right. So before we start discussing this, um, this conversation, I want to address uh, pronunciation words, just because I'm going to forget if I don't right now. Um, okay, so first word, subordinates. Can you repeat? Subordinates. Can you repeat? Subordinates. Subordinate. 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 Yeah, Subordinate. subordinates, subordinates. Okay, this is admire. Admire. Ad yes, admire. Okay. Then we have accurate. 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 Yeah, not accurate. It is it's not accurate. It's accurate. Writ. Accurate. Yeah. Without accurate. E. Oh, okay. Accurate. Yeah. Accurate. accurate. Mm -hmm. And handles. 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 Okay. Accurate. Contributed. 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 Contribute. Contributed. Mm -hmm. 
um, growth. 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 Yeah. Okay. Growth. Very good. Okay. Any other words that you're not sure about the the pronunciation? No, all the words are clear and easy. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. Okay. In that case, um, let's talk about the meaning of words. Do you have any questions about the meaning of these words? And you can write in the chat if you don't want to tell, say it up front. You can also write in the chat. Mm -hmm. I got the word. I just don't. Can't see it. Ah, yes. Any other words? Any words that you're not sure about? Okay, any more? Any more words? Okay, so pair up means to put in pairs. Okay, like for example, when I put you into breakout rooms, sometimes I pair you up because I put you in pairs. If I put you in groups, I don't pair you up. I put you in groups. But if I put you with another person to for you to work in pairs, then I pair you up. So it's it's a it's a verb to that means to put into pairs. Okay? Sounds good? Yeah, did you? Yes. Good. Okay. Accurate, accurate means um, something that is precise, that is right on point, okay? So precise, like um, maybe, how tall are you? Instead of saying, I'm one, 157 centimeters, you can say, I'm one point, I won, 157.3 centimeters. So you're being very precise, exact, accurate. Okay? Yes. And approach is like a way of dealing with something. Okay? The way that you, a business approach is the way that you um, handle that you deal with something. Um, it, so this is actually more figuratively speaking. It's not, it's not physically. It, so approach is basically just the way that you um, you manage something. Okay. So it, you can have an approach like an um a, it's it's basically your style of dealing with something. 
Okay. Does that make sense? Here, I have mm -hmm. it. I have a debit. Business approach is not when you say, for example, focus business is not the same. It's different. Business approach. Focus what? When you put focus and business or business focus. No, no, no. no. Approach is the, the, the manner that you. The manner. Yeah, it's the manner that you start working with something okay okay um approach well another way of uh, another another meaning of approach is like um i'm going like it's a verb to approach something means um to we can say in spanish abordar right so a business like abordar pero no abordar de del avión or anything like that. Sino que abordar, por ejemplo, abordar una persona. It means mm -hmm. to come close to the person and say hi. So an approach, a business approach is the way that you come close to the business and you handle the business, how you start the business. Okay. Thank you. Okay. All right. Um, I'm trying to think in Spanish how we could say this. Let me see if I can find a really good word for this in Spanish. Um, I was looking for business approach in a beer something like It appeared what? Sorry, I, I didn't get that. Okay, so yeah, it's uh, basically, it's, um, We can say, come on. The way that she makes business. Something uh -huh. like that. Yeah, the way, yeah, the way. Mm -hmm. Yeah, let's say the way that they make business, yeah. Yeah, like their, their theory, their, their, um, their style. Of making business, okay. okay. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Uh, and that's it. Yeah, that's all. Okay. Um. So now that we've read that conversation, I'd like you guys to practice it with a partner. I'm oh, sorry, not with a partner. With a with in 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 groups and small groups because there are three of you. You're gonna have to have a three three of you. Okay. So I'm going to send this to in the chat. One moment. Okay, please tell me when you have received it.
You got it? Yes. Okay. All right. So I'm going to put you guys into in the breakout rooms and you'll have about three people at least in the group so you can practice. All right, here we go. Yes, I believe. Okay. And I, you, uh, you, you, yeah. Hugo, Sally, and Prisha. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Richard. Who is Richard? <laughs> yes. And who? who and Sally? <laughs> Me? Maybe. You. <laughs> okay. You <are>. Again. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, Emerson is Richard and who? Jose or Eulise? Okay, I start. Okay. Okay. Richard, I understand, I understand you would like us to work together, but it's possible, please pair me up with another of managers. I can understand how she allows her sovereignty to do whatever they want. Why are you always attacking me in, in meetings? What are you talking about? I don't I don't do that. You just did it. Oh. Richard? Or Richard? Emerson, you are Richard. <laughs> okay. Google, would you please tell me what you admire about the selling? Well, she, I have to admire. A few years ago, worked for the same company. Yes. Yes. So yes. I saw a long time ago. Yeah, yes. both we were working the fruit of the ago. loom. Some uh, more or less. Uh, 24, 24 years. 24 wow. years ago, yeah. Of course. Yeah. Yes. I remember when, when uh, yours uh, uh, was trainer. Like me. <laughs> ah, okay, yes. Yes. In yes. Santana in, in, in Santana Planta Santana. Yeah. Yes. Yes, I remember. Ah, wow. <laughs> uh, Emilio I remember Emilio Membreño, Ana Trujillo, uh, Vinicio Echeverria. Ah. We were so, young. Sorry to break up the, the, the good talk, but <laughs> did you guys already <laughs> practice? Yes, <laughs> you You practice a conversation? Yes, yeah. teacher, we're practicing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. okay, continue. Okay, Thank let's you. continue with yours. <laughs> okay, yes. um, I don't know. Uh, who is Hugo Sally? And Sally, what do you appreciate appreciate about Hugo? He did a great job gracing Sally by um percent this month why the business uh brush. I know you two have different personalities. If you both had not contributed to our project projects we wouldn't have such ground last year from now on remember what you just said about each other 
to help the company continue to grow. Okay. 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 And number three, this puts an answer to the question below. Oh, I don't right, have right now. Them. Just, just, just the conversation. Okay. Just... Ah, okay, 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 okay. I think we finished. Mm -hmm. Sifrido or Kevin, do you want to participate? Uh, I have. I had to admit that the reports are extremely accurate and that her sales department handles work without delay. And Sally, what do you appreciate about Hugo? You're wrong now on remember what you just said about each other, which each other to help the company continue to grow. Good. Okay. Um, Change the role again. Okay, great. All right, so I think you all had the opportunity of practicing each role, right? Um, just a word that I want to also mention the pronunciation, admire, admire. Admire. Yeah, not admire, admire. Admire, okay. Mm -hmm. And the other one con contributed. Contributed. Contributed, contributed or contributed, contributed. It, so if okay. you want to do like the the british the british english would be contributed contributed mm -hmm. but american english would be contributed contributed computed it contributed okay okay all right anything else any other questions me teacher mm-hmm Yes, yes, I, I don't know exactly what the, what does it mean pair me up. Pair up means to put in pairs. To put with a partner to be a pair. Does that make sense what you said? No. Okay, so a partner, you understand a partner? Yeah. Okay, so when you are a partner, you are a pair, un par, right? Okay. So to pair to pair up means to put with a partner to be working in pairs. Oh, okay. 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 Yeah. Yeah. I All right. It. You're welcome. Um. Any other questions? No, teacher. No? Okay. So since we have already seen this conversation, let's uh, discuss some questions about it. First question. What are the causes of the conflict between Sally and Hugo? So what's the problem? What are the causes? They communicate effectively. Yes. They don't have a, a good communication. Bad, bad communication. <laughs> yes. <clears throat> There's bad communication. And what they, else? They have different ways to to manage the 
the employees. Right. So what what does Hugo think about the way Sally handles the employees? And she allows the subordinates do whatever they want. Mm -hmm. Right. Okay, so according to Hugo, um, she, oops. According to Hugo, she allows her subordinates to do whatever they want, right? And what does Sally think about Hugo? What's, what's Sally's problem with Hugo? He thinks that he, she thinks that he is always attacking her. Exactly. Oops. Ay, ay, ay. Okay. So yes, she thinks that he, that he is always attacking her. Okay. So there's definitely a communication problem, right? Because um, she feels that he's not communicating well and said he just attacks her. And Hugo doesn't like her, um, her managerial uh, ethics, I guess you can say. Okay, what was Richard's attitude towards a conflict? Well, with both and say that too. For example, what I admire about Sally, both. He tries to get uh, good information about each other. Mm hmm Oops. Oh, yeah, yeah. Sorry, guys. <sighs> okay. Okay, so... Uh, so what does Richard do? Ah, sorry, I don't know what's going on. The computer has a mind of its own. <laughs> okay, Um. so what was Richard's attitude? Richard's attitude? They said, tell, tell them uh, what he admires about the, each other, right? And what they appreciate about each other. Okay. And to remember what they said about each other. To help the company continue to grow. So basically looking at the good side of a person and remembering that this is for the growth of the of the company. Right? So it's for the good of the company. How would you have handled the situation? If you know that two of your your a managers don't get along very well. How would you have handled this? Would you have put them to work together or would you have said, no, let's not, let's not put them together because they, they don't work together well. What do you think? I think first uh, it's necessary knows uh, what is the what is the beginning of the problem? Mm -hmm. So if the problem I, I can handle, mm -hmm. so I I will try to get some help from human resources, mm -hmm. I think, or maybe follow 
this conversation and try to get some good information from each other. Mm -hmm. And they and, and they realize that they are not um, enemies, just they are teammates and they will try to uh, get the goals from the company. Okay, very good. Very good. Any other ideas? I think um, I has do um, similar um, approach situation approach like Carlos. Maybe I get them separately to find out the the beginning and the problem maybe is only bad um feeling to each other. Mm -hmm. Okay. So you wouldn't have confronted them both at the same time. You would have talked to them separately. Yes. Mm. Okay. All right. Fair enough. Any other ideas? How would you have handled this? Do you think Richard handled it in a good way? Do you like what he did? Yes. He it did a great job. Yeah. He did a great job, yeah. Yeah, I, I agree too, right? Because when we start looking at people's positive qualities and we stop, we can stop looking at, we can stop concentrating on their negative qualities. Remember, everybody has negative qualities, even us. We have negative qualities too, right? But if we start um, focusing on people's good qualities, then it's easier for us to, be able to get along with the person and um, not focus on their negative qualities, right? So that's that's a very good approach. Very, very good approach. And remember those good qualities, especially when you have conflicts, like that later on will arise, of course. There's always gonna be conflicts that arise. And speaking about conflicts, Let's look at the different types of conflicts, okay? So we have complex, conflicts at work. We have personality styles, poor communication, conflict of interest or values, corrupt or fraudulent intense, miscommunication. So what do you think is the most common um, Hold on. Um, which one do you think is the most common conflicts at work? So mm. first of all, first of all, personality styles, probable cause would be what? No, I think it's miscommunication or poor communication. Yes, I agree with Carlos. Yeah, maybe poor communication or miscommunication is the same but not the same <laughs> it's like it's same. Related. It's similar it's, it's related, related. Yeah. 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 Poor but and it's, yeah 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 poor and miss okay just i just wanted to um i forgot to go over the probable causes right so the personality styles uh, probable causes like jealousy right um so sometimes we may feel a little jealous about um people's personality maybe they have a person a type of personality that we wish we had and sometimes that creates a little conflict so it's more about it's like an internal conflict but we make it an external conflict and poor communication per, per, um, a poor performance right um conflict of interest 
imposing positions, uh, corrupt or fraudulent intents, power struggles, right? So um, we're struggling, we're fighting for the power. Miscommunication. What is the, sorry, what is the, the meaning of the struggles? Sorry. Struggles are like uh, fights. Okay. So like you're like fighting for the power. Something like here, uh, arena and FMLN, something like that. Yeah, yeah, okay. can say. Uh -huh. Like a fight yeah. forward. Nah, yeah, 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 exactly. Just You're... it's an example, example, yeah. nah, only that. Example, okay. yeah, exactly. Okay. Um, And then we have an, a miscommunication, an employee had a bad day, right? So sometimes we miscommunicate because um, there's a miscommunication. We don't say things as we want to say them. Um, instead, we say something and the, the person maybe understands it a different way because maybe the way we said it, right? Or even our face sometimes, not, not what we say, it's not what we say or what, or how we say it, but even just our face maybe, maybe gives off a different impression. So anyways, tell me, what do you think is the most common? You said number one was what? In your opinion? In my opinion, poor communication. Poor communication? Yeah. yeah. I agree, yes. I agree. Okay. Second? Personality style. Personality styles? Yeah? I was thinking in miscommunication. Miscommunication? What do you guys think? Personality styles, miscommunication, or another one? Mm -hmm. Personality style, maybe. The Personality style. <laughs> okay. Okay. I'm just going with whatever you guys say. Okay. Personality styles. Next. Third most common? Power strong. Conflict. Conflict of interest? Maybe conflict of interest. Conflict of yeah, interest. Conflict. Okay. All right. Number four? Second to least? Power strong. Miscommunication and corrupt. corrupt. So which corrupt. one would be number four? Yes. In your opinion, which one's number four? Miscommunication. Miscommunication. Okay. Sounds good. And I guess the number five would be corrupt or fraudulent intents. Am I correct? For me, the last one is miscommunication, but I don't, I don't know. <laughs> okay. Okay. Well, that's fair enough. I mean, this is just what you think, right? Yeah. What, this is just, so there's no right or wrong answer, right? It's just what you think. Okay. Very good. All right, guys, we're going to stop sharing right now because it's time for us to take our attendance again, okay? So just please, again, open your microphone when you hear your name. Okay. Edwin Antonio Quinteros. Oh, no, sorry, sorry, sorry. I'm going to start from the beginning. I'm sorry. Ana Lorena Lobato Orellana. Ana Lorena? Okay, no, I don't know. Carlos Alberto Dominguez Martinez. No. Carlos Ernesto Hernández. Present. Wonderful. Carlos Mauricio Menjibar Caballero. Present, Miss. Excellent. Eh, Edwin Antonio Quintero Sumaña. Edwin Antonio. Emerson Ulises Monroy. Excellent. Uh, Eulises Torres Torres. Present. Excellent. Uh, El Iliana Rebeca Carpio Calderón. Iliana Rebeca. Jorge Antonio Sánchez Qui uh, Quiñones. Present. DJ. Excellent. Uh, Jose Bernardo López Montes.
José Bernardo López Montes. Eh, present me. Okay. Eh, can we turn on the camera? José Bernardo. Uh, yes, Miss. I, I can turn it on, but I have problems. I don't know if, if you can see. I There is some right now. I don't know what happened. Oh, interesting. Okay. All right. Well, you tried. It's okay. Thank you. Thank you for trying. Oh, All right. Okay. Ah, there you are. Okay, good. Excellent. Thank you. Thank you, Jose Bernardo. Okay. Jose Carlos Argueta Romero. Here. Excellent. Uh, Jose Carlos, Ar no, sorry, Jose Salvador Bernal Quintanilla. I'm here, teacher. Excellent. Josman Atilio ah, Serrano. Present, teacher. Excellent. Juan Carlos Herrera Delgado. Present, Miss. Excellent. Kevin Alfredo Lucero Méndez. Present. Excellent. Um, Mauricio Antonio Velázquez. Present, teacher. Excellent. Um, Rafael Alexander Serna. Rafael Anton, Rafael Alexander Serna, no. Ricardo Ernesto Pérez, present teacher. Okay, wonderful. Thank you very much. Thank you for turning on your camera. Sandra Abigail Bonilla, present. All right. Um, okay, there you are. All right. Always remember, Abigail, to, uh, to change your name when you come into the platform because you're always just appearing as Abigail Bonilla. Okay. And thank you for turning on the camera. Uh, Sigfrido Ernesto Gomez Guinea. Present. Wonderful. Uh, Wendy Maricela Ramirez Guevara. Present, teacher. All right, wonderful. Eh, Mina Elizabeth Alvarenga Rivas. Present. Excellent. Irma Evelyn Rodriguez Torres. Present. Okay, thank you. Eh, Arm Amanda Leonela Zamora Miranda. She's not here. Not here, okay. All right. Okay, so that will be all just if um, Emerson- Teacher, my name. In my name. Nelson. Missing my name too, teacher. I'm sorry. I don't hear you. Okay. Nelson Alberto Pere Peraza. 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 Y Osman Enrique Hernandez. Present teacher. Okay, perfect. Sorry, guys. In Maya. Okay. Mm, Mayra? No, la niña me tampoco. No. Mm, sorry. Ah, pues se me escapó ese, ese, esa línea. <laughs> sorry. María Cecilia Peña de Aparicio. Yes, present. Okay. Wonderful. Anybody else I missed? Okay. All right. Uh, so that would be all for today, guys. Um, remember, I need you to have finished section one, okay? For to uh for for today we have already finished it so you should be able to finish the whole thing on the platform. Uh, Emerson Ulises, if you could stay behind, and that will be it. I will see you guys tomorrow. Have a good night. See you. Thank you. Have a good, good night. night. Have a good, good night. night. Have a good night. Okay, Emerson, um, how are you? Very well. All right, excellent. Um, how are you doing in the platform? Well, yesterday uh, I was working and uh, some some items, mm -hmm. but I have a problem with the the spelling. Some, some, 
some sentences. Spelling. For example, mm -hmm. you hang spelling. But number three, and yet Acro autocratic managers made me decide according to the platform is wrong. So the, this is uh, 1.3, I guess? You're talking 1. about 1.3. Yes. 1. 3. Okay, let me check. Okay, so when, which number in 1.3? Which number? One, two, three, four, five. Which one? Only, only mm -hmm. number three. Number three, okay. Have, uh, okay. All right, so what did you write? What did you write, Emerson? Okay, I share the screen. Autocratic managers who makes decision alone is I will try to change the the verb okay. to be okay so uh, what you want us to what you want to say is is un gerente autocrático es una persona quien um, toma decisiones solo mm. so that's what you want to say in english So is someone because it's alguien. An autocratic manager uh, is someone is alguien, right? Is alguien quien is no wait 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 a sec. ¿Cómo se dice? Is alguien quien? What word are you missing? What word have we been learning about? Ajá. Uh -huh. Okay. Pero siga, siga, porque creo que al final tenía un problema. Un problema. Makes decisions. Someone who? Someone who? Who what? The verb make has to agree with the third person singular. Okay. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. Okay, there you go. Okay, good. Any other questions that you have? Of the moment, no. No, you sure? Um, I believe. <laughs> okay. All right, perfect. Okay, so is there anything else I can help you with? Well, no, okay, perfect. Okay, well, in that case, um, if there's no more questions, then I guess uh, uh, I'll let you go so that you can go and rest. Um, and if there's anything that you need, you can you can contact me directly. Um, in the you can do 
um, you can directly message me in WhatsApp or put the your question in, in the in the WhatsApp group. Okay. Okay. Thanks. I appreciate it. You're welcome, Emerson. All right. Take care and have a good night. Good night. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.